Hello everyone and welcome back to The Sims Medieval here in Moss Stone Kingdom with Her Majesty Queen Briar Rose and she is currently here with Builder Ranulf and they are both giving the evil eye to unfortunately the lieutenant that we need to speak to for the next part of our quest to understand what is going on down at the beaches because a survivor from a pirate attack actually washed ashore uh, last night. It was pretty dramatic. I'm not sure. I don't think that there there's any more of the pieces down by the docks, but there was just wreckage all over the docks. It was extremely chaotic. Lady Briar Rose rode out onto the high seas in her ship to see if they could find any survivors. The memories of her parents lost to the carnivorous whales that ate them and the crown prince years ago in her mind and the wreckage that she survived from that. And they didn't find any survivors and they were shot at by a mysterious ship. And apparently the scouts say that it is actually some pirate ships that are in increasing activity along the border. So the next step we need to do is to make security arrangements with Lieutenant Arrington. And unfortunately, Lieutenant Arrington is a jerk. <laughs> and she has been picking a fight with Royal Builder or Royal Advisor Paula and Buildmaster Ranulf all day long. So uh, Lady Briar Rose really isn't quite sure what to do, like how we are going to be able to take on the Lieutenant after she has proven herself to be a bit of a jerk. So for now, I think we are going to turn ourselves to another Another one of our royal tasks that we need to do for the day, and that is to read the war crimes docket. So many war criminals are being tried in the courts. My advisor, who happens to be Paula over here, has thoughtfully provided me a docket summarizing the various guilty verdicts. And so we are going to read that docket and it turns out it is hiding in my inventory. So I couldn't find it last time. There it is. Couldn't find it. I thought it was maybe in the bookshelf. Maybe it was over here at the scribe table. Nope. It's inside of our inventory. So we're going to sit down, read the docket, see what sort of war crimes are going on. I like to imagine maybe we are thinking through uh, like the crimes. In fact, I wonder if I can move things around in here a little bit. Give me just a second because everybody is complaining so much about like the placement of everything. I'm going to scooch this over here and hopefully this will work out. I wonder if I can add in another another place to sit actually. So yeah, let's do that really quickly. Let's put in some more sofas and or love seats. I, the ship sofas are just so cool. That's one of the things we've been adding in here a lot. But this, this makes sense to maybe have one of these chairs over here. I wonder if we would add that in. Perhaps we would, because there has been a lot of attention given to this room, uh, especially for the bookshelves. So actually, the bookshelves are one of the most popular features of the castle. We have so many various uh, citizens come so that they can grab the books from the bookshelves. So in fact, let's put the bookshelves over here. So, oh yeah, we're gonna, we're reading the war crimes dockets, but we're taking just a moment to reorganize what goes on in the castle too. Sorry about that, you guys. It's just so much happens over here. Bar stools, living chairs, dining chairs, beds, sofas and love seats, I think are what we need. Uh, oak sofa, hmm, increases comfort and environment, or just environment. Oh, and then they might have a comfy, I see, I see. And that's how you get the comfy boost added to it too. Hmm. Well, I could see this being used. Maybe not in here, though. So that gets the comfy boost. The the dungeon, the high dungeon hall bench does not get the comfy boost. The gnome stone love seat does not. Any of these? Any of these? Does this one, the ship sofa? Nope. All right. So the ship sofa makes sense to have because it, and the distressed wood makes sense to have for some areas, but not inside the royal, the royal castle. So let's go ahead and go with this one, maybe? Ew, no. That's terrible. Actually, it's quite ugly. <laughs> maybe we'll go with this one instead. Sorry, guys. All of a sudden, we're like doing this instead of actually doing any work. Uh, I suppose we'll have to go with just another ship sofa for now and we'll do we'll do some more work later in here to try to make this place look a little bit nicer but I think adding in a second a second light source just a few other little details would definitely help out what about there's oh pre watcher wow look at all of these pieces this is so cool this is so cool I love all the various pieces you can get a jug this is so neat Wow, we could really decorate with quite a few things. <gasps> Is that an egg? 
It's an illogical pagan painted egg. That is so cool. Colossal sand glass. Ah, oh, this is so awesome. Just imagine when we do more exploring. Ah, oh, this will be so cool. We'll, we'll put down some things when we do some more exploring. We feel like it's appropriate. So maybe for running into pirates, it would make sense. Uh, is this the... Hmm. What does the stamp tool do? I'm not sure what the stamp tool does. Yeah, it's a clone tool. There we go. There, that's what I wanted. All right, we're done. But yeah, well, as we run through different quests, actually, it would kind of be fun to add in things related to our quest. I didn't think about that before. So we actually found a lost child as one of our last quests. So you know what? Why not come over and add in another small decor piece? Nothing too fancy. The groveling rug. Oh my gosh. Nothing too fancy. But what if just back here in the back corner... We sort of have a rug put down and maybe we'll have, uh, let's see, <laughs> Raggedy Ann, oh my gosh. Raggedy Ann, oh my gosh, there's like little Raggedy Ann's you can put down. There are children's objects too. I remember seeing that there are kids objects somewhere around here. Uh, household inventory, sort by function, domestic, and then children right here. Yeah, look, you can put down like Raggedy Ann's and things like that. Oh, let's put down the little, the little, um, there we go. Yes, yes, we'll put down a couple little bears because we rescued that little kid, yeah? I think that's perfect. So we'll put down, in fact, we'll put down two of the little like guard bears and we'll put them in the back corner over here and we'll put them in because we did happen to rescue that child. So who knows, maybe occasionally he and his parents, the little kid did stop by a little while ago after all. Maybe they stopped by. So now we've got a little section where kids can wait if their parents need to come over and have their petitions read. That's actually adorable and that makes me really happy. All right, what are you doing? Is she upstairs? Is she in my bedroom? Lieutenant, I don't know about this kind of behavior. All right, maybe she's just patrolling. I will accept that kind of behavior to make sure everything's safe. So we have to read the war crime docket. Look at all of us. <laughs> my royal advisors and I are a well-studied bunch. I like it. I like it. Also, I love the idea of making sure that we're constantly getting like one or two little trinket items to remind us of all the quests we've gone on. This particularly unsociable guildsman was guilty, was uh, judged guilty of the heinous, <laughs> oh my gosh, war crimes, which were they were accused. I will take great pleasure in signing this warrant. All right. So then we sign a warrant once we're done. Is that how we do it? Sign the royal arrest warrant. So there we go. And I hear somewhere some music. So I must have my jester playing somewhere. And look, we found these wildflowers. We just didn't collect them. So they just get to stay there and look very pretty. And I'm really happy because last time we did actually send off a notice to Sea Dog Casey, our good friend Sea Dog Casey, who I suspect is a pirate queen. And she said she had nothing to do with the pirate attacks and was quite offended that we dared to suggest that. But we did become friends with her after that message. So we finished a book. Oh, wow. So we get a boost from reading. Not every book ends with happily ever after, but hey, I'm just glad I can read. We have a new friend, new stuff. So she's excited about the new, the new additions we have in here. She is really focused right now, totally focused and happy. So let's take advantage of that. Time to talk to the lieutenant. So we have completed all of those. Oh, what's this? Send the guildsman to the stocks. Uh, okay. Now I have to find the guildsman. Oh, man. Okay. Can I just, can I send him to the stocks without having to go meet with him? I hope so. Wait, do I really have to? Okay. Well, you know what? I have a war crime to take care of. All right. Her Majesty has to send the guildsmen all the way to the stocks right now, you guys. <laughs> to the stocks with him. And there's good woman Samantha. So she seems quite, quite interesting. Let's go ahead and get to know her a little bit just for a couple of moments. Maybe discuss the state of the kingdom with her. I feel like Rose Stone, or excuse me, Briar Stone, really, <laughs> Rose Stone's my horse in Star Stable, that's hilarious. I feel like Briar Stone tries very hard to have a good relationship with the various townspeople. Here comes the constable. There goes a pigeon. So Carissa came by and, and sent off a personal letter, which I think is kind of funny. And then here is actually our shopkeeper. Do we have any goods we can buy? And then we'll go and deal with the issue because we're so focused right now. We really should focus on the pirate issue. Interesting. Hello, shopkeeper Lizette. And there's Sweeper. Let's see. Anything anything good here? 
Our, oh, fiddle! Oh, how fun! Frogs, pigeons, grapes, a map to an unknown island. Oh, that's so tempting. I think that this is a particularly tempted um, queen when it comes to adventuring and, and things that we might find elsewhere. I don't think we need any food or anything else right now, though, so we're probably good. Unless there's, like, can we buy from this market stall? Is there something different here? Is there something different or are they all the same market stalls? I think they're all the same market stalls. Okay, so nothing nothing different, but interesting to stop by market for the day and just see who's here even. So let's see, maybe invite over. So we'll go ahead and get to know and we'll chat with the merchant for just a moment. It's good to, oh, there's the midwife, midwife Mariana. It's good to be able to chat with the merchants in town, but really, okay, we'll actually... We'll just get to know her for now. And <laughs> this is so funny. Guildsman Diana may be really rich because she's constantly wanting to go ahead and uh, like she's got fancy clothes on. It's almost like she's trying to upstage the queen for how good she looks. You know what I mean? All right. So then we're going to come back and we're going to go home. Oh, I love the sound of the pigeons. And Aseta's trying to make a run for it now that we're not there to request food to be made. Hi, guys. Hi. I know. Are you guys just cooing up a storm? You're so cute, you know that? All right, so we're home. And actually, Spar, that's that's a kind of rude lieutenant, but I wonder if she just wants to know if we're doing okay. Oh, and the royal advisor and build master are good friends. That makes me happy. Let's discuss security agreements. Look, it's our knight, Dame Al Alana. That's our knight, that's so cool. Our bloodthirsty knight. So she's, she's coming through. That's so fun, so our hero's here. This is our knight. I love it. Guildsman Terrence, they look like brother and sister almost, don't they? See that our forces are prepared, Lieutenant uh, Arlington. Arlington. We may have avoided battle for now, but there is a war brewing, and I have a bad feeling we won't see the last of it. Ooh. We'll have to see what goes down. All right. So let's discuss the state of the kingdom. There we go. Oh, we're done. That was all the quest was. Wow, that was easy. You've completed the quest at platinum level. Absolutely amazing. All right. So a storm looms on the horizon for Moss Leaf. Look at that. We got a bonus knowledge aspect too. Boom, boom. And we increased our security and we leveled up. Awesome. Your hero has advanced to a new level. Would you like to learn more about levels and experience? Probably. And congratulations. She has gone up to monarch level five. Review your Sims Simology tab for new profession benefits. Um, Monarch is the sole ruler of the land. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, let's see. Level 5 benefits. Mortal Blow. Special Combat Moved Unlocked. Furious Onslaught. Combat Tone Unlocked. And Fighting Proficiency Increased. So she's turning into a better fighter. I hope we don't need to actually worry about that. And we have increased Slight Security to our kingdom too. So that makes me happy. Let's see what quest we have available now. Bounty Hunt Wild Boar. Ooh, that would be really fun to be able to interview our, our or to like play as our knight, I think. So are we able to do that? Party requirement? The knight, yeah. Or save the boar. Help the boar escape before the hunters kill it. Oh my gosh, that's not quite, I don't think what our bloodthirsty Alana, the former pirate knight would want to do. So there's a wild boar hunt that we can take after. The incident, uh, which seems to be escalating the... Yeah, that would be culture and that would be security. So a summit for peace. Interesting. So we might we might look at that uh, game pirate or guild allegiance. Ooh, I wonder if we would actually like gain allegiance with the pirates. Ironically enough, that might be quite interesting. Heir to the throne. The queen wants to do whatever necessary to have the right child. Interesting. Uh, Legend of the Talking Frog. I think we're going to go ahead with the wild boar hunt because I would love to see more security added into our nation. So we're going to go ahead and slay the boar because that is what our knight would definitely do. So here we are. I will collect the bounty with Dame Alana, who has returned to uh, civilization after living as a knight for so or living as a pirate for so long after the monarchs announced announced the bounty of 1000 simuls to anyone able to slay the boar other bounty hunters and glory seekers flocked to the castle based on their continued presence in the kingdom however it would seem that none of them had yet succeeded at the challenge dame alana considered the situation carefully oh did she now 
Oh, the queen left. This is so cool. So now we're playing as Alana. Look, and she knows all of these kids. Aaron Boy Walter, Junior Princess Tegan. I imagine maybe some of them might be related to her. We know Guard Albin. So these are the guards under her too. Angeline, who we know a will ate her parents from last time. She's also a haggler and bloodthirsty. We also have Guard Albin, unkept earthy and a glutton. And Guard Donna, who's scholarly and excitable. So she's pretty cool too. And then there's also Guildman Terrence over here. Actually, Actually, I think it's kind of funny that they look almost identical. So I wonder, I wonder, she wants to fight him. Like now, like I want to fist fight this second. That's kind of hilarious. Um, I think she might come over and get to know. And knight, challenge duel, threaten for money, spar. I don't really want to do any of those things. Um, I do, however, maybe want to discuss state of the kingdom. This poor woman... That poor woman is just going around and around. I wonder if I should approach Lady Briar Rose, the Great, directly about the bounty hunt. Perhaps it would be prudent to speak with the royal advisor Paula first and learn what I can about the boar. So we'll speak with Paula in a second. But I want to introduce our dame to this guildsman because he's kind of interesting looking. And I would love to be able to uh, go ahead... <laughs> I would love to be able to go ahead and maybe plan out somebody. I don't know. I'm really... Uh, Ranulf, I like a lot. Like, I personally like Ranulf a lot. So let's go ahead and we'll get to know him a little bit and maybe chat with him. And he's so he's so friendly. I think he's really quite sweet. So I would love to see some Ranulf babies, even though I think it's kind of hilarious that Gil Guildman Terrence looks just like Alana. <laughs> Pardon me. All the dust in the castle. In a second, get to sweeping some more. All right, so Terrence, and plus Ranulf, you know, he's really, he's way up there in the world. Oh, and he's insecure. I could see that actually either being something that totally makes Dame Alana annoyed, or she finds somewhat attractive. Are we going to have some sort of responsibilities that she'll have to do every day too? That's going to be interesting to see. All right, don't fist fight him for crying out loud. Let's go ahead and tell him a story. And then Knight threatened for money. Oh, it's funny. The more we get to know him. Oh, who's this? The innkeeper? When did we get an inn? I would love to have an inn. But the more we get to know the builder, the less we can threaten him and, and intimidate him. So this is kind of fun. And I, I, I think I like Ranulf a lot. Are all the builders always like Ranulf? Do they always look like Ranulf and always look like Paula? Hmm. What's this book on the ground? The Watcher's Tower. Ah! Oh, I don't like his his, like... His personality. Never mind. Ranulf is a big, a big sweetheart, and I like him a lot. Can we do anything romantic? Woo! Extol his virtues. Praise his looks, maybe. Why not? I think that Alana is kind of a forward woman like that, and maybe she just, she kind of also has a bit of a, a rough around the edges sense of humor. So she's a little bit like forward that way. Oh, uh -huh. romantic. I think we might just like woo a little bit. Oh my gosh. So there we go. The knight, the knight is being flirty. I think she's just kind of playful with it, but in a sort of aggressive way. So there we go. Now we need to pick our path. So are we going to approach the queen to be uh, pleased to have another hunter after the boar? Let's speak to the royal advisor. The queen looked like she retired for the moment. So let's see. Ask about the boar. So let's speak with the royal advisor. We might need a good nap before we try to take on the boar too. All right, what does the royal advisor say? Another bounty hunter? That's all I need right now. More oafs tromping through the castle, talking about boars. None of them with expertise in boar hunting. Get lost. Oh, learn about the bounty. I should learn the terms of the monarch's bounty before fully accepting the challenge. Come on, don't be like that. How rude. Perhaps I should have spoken to the monarch after all. Briar Rose is pretty approachable. Oh, where is she? Briar Rose. Oh, now we're appalled. Oh, we're angry and appalled. What? I can use that to get through? What? I didn't know I could just pop around the place. That's so cool. Look at our, look at our area. Look at this. Look at this. This is so cool. How can I get over to the hall more often? And you can grab some brew. You can come over and view things over here. This is so neat. Here's one of my guards. So let's go ahead and we're going to chat with one of our guards for a moment. Because I think that's very important to be, like, really have a great relationship with all of our guards. Look at the merchant prince making an absolute fool of himself with the fool. And then we'll go ahead and come over here. And I don't think we should accept the bounty. Yeah, we'll let them, I think that's accept the challenge for the bounty. 
So we're just chatting for a moment with our guard, who's an unkept glutton, because it's important to make sure we keep up relationships with our guards. And then Alana, she's doing some stretching. She's going to take on this boy, your majesty. Don't you worry. We've got this. So see, your majesty, we, we will handle this problem. You don't have to worry. Your knight is... <laughs> Did you see her eyes cross? Off you go then. Return with my prize boar or don't return at all. I guess the boar that actually Inesetta fed her a few days ago has stayed with her and now she really wants to eat more boar. The other bounty hunters have set up camp in the forest. You can find them there. All right. We'll look at that in just a moment. And we'll try... I think she would do like a joke. Like she would joke with the guards. Kind of try to feel comfortable with them. Make them feel comfortable with her. I could totally see that happening. Yeah, now he's feeling amused. How do I get to my home? I want to go to my home. Look at all the pigeons. Oh, they're so cute. And there's an Aseta coming back. And now we have to make our own food, don't we? Ha <laughs> ha. We do have to make our own food. All right. Slightly unfocused because she's feeling annoyed and she's also tired. So let's go ahead. We don't have much money. I imagine she would be a bit frugal. And we're going to go to sleep. We're just going to straight up go to sleep. We've got a book. Oh, oh, the barracks. Oh, I get it. They're going to be coming through here because this is like our room since we're the night. But all of the guards are going to be coming in and out all of the time. That's so cool. That's so cool. All right, there we go. And she's got a comfy bed. So she's going to get some good rest. Then we can make some gruel in the morning. We have our chamber pot. But we don't really need to use the chamber pot for anything, do we? We only have two needs, hunger and energy. That's it. Uh, let's see, change outfit if we wanted to. So we'll let her rest. And can she discover anything? No, I wonder what gives them the abilities to do certain things. Three in the morning and you're going to wake up, woman. All right, I guess she's like, I can. I guess being a pirate, like a former pirate, she would kind of like, we, there we go. We're just going to make some gruel, champion of the realm. Just going to have some nice gruel for the morning. Spend our day with the night. Oh, this is so cool. I love all the details. It's just so beautiful. There we go. Yeah, spend our day with the knight. There we go. Have some gruel. I wonder if there are things you can train with, but there's not really levels. There's just experience points. So I guess you just need that. All right. Yeah. So she's ready to go. We had a bland meal. Whatever. You can you can deal with it. You've had worse. You've had worse, Day Milana. Out on the high seas. Oh, I bet she could be a good fisher. <gasps> that would actually be really cool. We'll do some fishing. In fact, why don't we we go ahead since it's so early in the morning? We'll go ahead and send her over here and let her do some fishing. Because I could see Day Milana being a good fisher since she used to be a pirate. So and she probably it misses fish stew, I would imagine. I wonder what affects her like fishing level? What affects what we get from fishing? Did we get something? Sweet, a salmon! She successfully collected a salmon. So now she's content because she won't have that bland meal again. Wow, what's this? Okay, let's come over here. Let's see what's going on for this boar hunt. Bounty hunter Percy, bounty hunter Brayden, wise hunter Siegfried. So I think I know who we want to talk to, eh? And we can make food at this really big spit. I wonder if we can make the salmon. Well, we don't need to right now, but at least it's there. Look, you can practice cards. Oh, that must be so cool. This must be their campsite. It reeks of mud and booze. All right, so what are we going to do over here? Meet the other hunters. Well, let's go ahead. We'll talk to the... How's the boar hunter going? We'll talk to the wise boar hunter first. I like your campsite, by the way. Oh, dear. And you can just leap right into, uh, leap right into the, the deep end. By potentially woo of the hooing with some of them. All right, but we won't do that. I, I could see Alana casually woo hooing with uh, with some of the sims, but not at the moment. She's on the mission. She's she's feeling adventurous and bloodthirsty and wants to get this boar. All right, so we're gonna have our our awesome night. There she is. Look at her. She's like ready for the fight too. She wants to go and get this boar. These louts spend more time drinking and boasting, and I have more pressing concerns. So good, we know that about him then. Let's go ahead. Seen a boar lately? Bounty hunter Brayden. Bounty hunter Percy. How does the wild, does this wild boar live in the forest? So we're going to ask them some questions next. All right, what does this lout say with his cards? Oh, he's just hiccuping at us. You're kidding me, right? Oh my gosh, he just passed out. Oh my gosh. 
All right, Alana, I don't know about this. Uh, Doltish dunce, of course the wild beast dwells in the forest. And not that you will have any success in hunting it. Bring me some beer and I'll tell you a secret. What? All right. Tell the hunter a good joke. The hunter seems worried about something important. Maybe it's related to the boar hunt. I should try to distract him with an incredible joke. Maybe this hunter has some valuable information. I should serve him drink in the cast and see if... No, I think she would joke him. Joke at him and see if we can maybe uh, tell a joke. And I mean, because she does joke with the guards all the time. Oh, that's so cool. I've never seen him actually whittle anything useful. Do you get to keep that horse? That's cute. All right, Percy's amused. So can I tell him another joke? Is that going to be uh, maybe perform a sleight of hand? So I need to tell him a good joke. He's pretty easy to please, actually. And then tell a funny story, I guess. So the more we become friends with him, the more we can do funny things. All right, did we tell him a funny joke yet? Tell the hunter a good joke. Hmm. Or maybe it's the wise guy we need to tell a good joke? Okay, let's try telling the wise guy a joke. Just for a second. Come here, buddy. I don't want to serve you anything. Ah, there we go. So the king just wakes up with the tomatoes all over the bed and pigeons cooing outside the, the, the window. Hilarious. All right, so we managed that. Learn what's bothering a wise hunter Siegfried. Hmm. Hmm. All right. All right. So I think we know which one of the the hunters these guys are just getting so so tipsy So tipsy I knew I think we are going to go ahead and speak with this hunter and you can you can just look elsewhere with those glinty eyes Sir Alana has a sword and knows how to use it and we'll see what we can learn from him And hopefully it'll be enough that we can go and get the boar and collect the bounty and curb the bloodthirsty edge on our new knight's hunger So I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Bye